Hi there. My name is Raleigh Brown. This is another in a series of curve flattening concerts. Hey, Burks, this might be number 99, I think. I'm not sure. And uh, hi, Tom Dietz. And uh, if you saw the most recent teaser, it said this is Anything Can Happen Day. And that is truly what we're going to have here. Hi, Deb. Debbie Lipstrewer Visayo is here, and Andreas is here. Andreas, I hope I don't disappoint you with my guitar picking today. And Gary Wingard. Good to see all you guys. Gene Galligan. So, so today is kind of nostalgia day. I'll say hi to more of you later. Um, uh, as some of you may have seen, if you ever stumbled upon my Facebook page, um, this is the, a couple days ago, uh, was the 40th anniversary of actually the, the big launching of my, uh, of my guitar uh, professional career because I won the National Guitar Finger Picking Championships on uh, September 18th, 1980, 40 years. And both my runner-up and best, you know, close friend uh, Danny Gotham and I have written about that this week. And I was thinking a lot about that time in my life. So uh, a few people have asked what I played on that day. And I thought I'd start with, um, a, a, there is a caveat. I'll, I'm starting with one of my contest tunes. It's a Jelly Roll Morton tune called High Society. And um, the caveat is two things. One, I can't play like I used to. So this may be very shaky. And two... The world has moved on. This is 40 years ago, before anybody started like tapping the guitar or playing bebop stuff. And uh, so this is kind of the state of the art for that time, a lot of ragtime tunes and stuff like that. So I'm starting out with an instrumental because if I don't play it right now, I'll, I may never get through it. So here it is, High Society. Uh, with, you know, 
couple little slips there, but not too bad. I had no idea how that was going to turn out. So that's High Society. And I'm going to play you a, another gentler contest tune before we're done. But first I'm going to play you some other stuff. So, And I'm going to play you a song that I wrote, but not just yet. First I'm going to play you... a song by Bert Janch, one of my heroes, and it, it kind of was one of the things that um, inspired the song I wrote. And, you know, like I, when I wrote this, this was all around the time, I was about 30 years old. And, uh, you know, I was, um, you know, in Chinese medicine, we would say I was kind of coming to the end of the fire era of my life, the summer of my life, before I settled down into the late summer or autumn of my life. And uh, I was still, you know, a young romantic. And uh, the music I'd listened to, a lot of it was kind of romantic music. Hi, Cohiba Cat. I hope you're doing okay today. Um, uh, hi, Margot Lemieux. Hey, Alex. And uh, John Sprouse and Michael Tierson and Terry St. James. Hey, man. And Bunny Barnes um, and Charlie Bryant back again. Bubba. we will always be to me. Hey, Hank, Hank Edelson. Hope you're doing well. Donna Greenberg, Mike Carr, lots of friends. Charlotte Cantrell, you're up early. Sharon, Sharon Saki. Bob McKenna, hi all you guys. I don't want to spend too much time talking today. I might not even see you all. I see that the Southwest Oklahoma contingent is here and Michael Verbeck and John Hubner. Uh, uh, Jennifer, uh, I mean Jeanette, it's Jeanette's birthday. Happy birthday, dear Jeanette Hubner. Happy birthday. birthday Jeanette dear old friends not really old well maybe kind of Eddie Fisher's there Harriet Hart geez anyhow let me get to work here so this is characteristic of the kind of hi Kate Petrella of the kind of romantic songs that I was entranced with as a as a youth you know from the time I was 20 until my early 30s Bad hair day here, too. Um, and this is by Bert, Bert Janch. Ask me why a rambler, he ain't got a home. Ask me why I sit and cry. I wish I knew, I wish I knew, if I knew, I'd know what to do. Day in, day out, seems I'm a running all on my own. Day in, day out, there is a weakness growing in my bones. It ain't no use. No use. My mind is dead. I gotta turn my body loose. Wish mama you could hear the words that I cry. Wish mama now at home I could die. When my time is late, my time is late, 
well, I'm on my own, and Lord, I got it straight. No girl I've loved has ever held me down. No reason can I give for leaving your town. My love is true, all oh, my love is true. But the road is long, I gotta see my journey through. Girl, don't deny the freedom that's born of me. Girl, don't deny that a rambler must always be free. Someday you'll see, someday you'll see my rambling. It's gonna be the death. Chanch. Ramblin's gonna be the death of me. Um, and he has that cool little lick that goes. It's in there part of the time, but not all of the time. So, and I think I'm gonna just follow that right up with the song I wrote. And So this song comes straight from that same sense of the romantic idea of the rambler who can't find a home. But it's also, it's also kind of painfully autobiographical <laughs> of a time in my life. So when I was traveling around the country on a motorcycle. BMW R75 slash 5 if you're interested. <laughs> and I'd left from San Francisco and come east. And uh, my life got kind of flipped all over the place. So. Let me do a quick check here. I think I said hi, hi, Pammy. Hi, Pamela Blake is here. Jimmy Lee Robbins. <laughs> You're welcome, Jeanette. Mel Green's here. Mel Green did the cover painting on the Songbird CD. In fact, he did the design for that CD. Um, Kate Petrell is here. And uh, Tom Schaefer. Hey, buddy. And uh, I know that uh, that my friend Kit Serikaku is asleep right now in Oahu, but I'm going to say hi to her anyhow because I know she'll be deeply hurt if I don't. <laughs> so hi, Kit. Um, so here's a, a song written by the 30-year-old 30, 30 me, maybe 31 or 32. Right around the time I went out to Winfield and my whole life changed. Now I've been riding the road and moving my way from the west to the east Riding towards yesterday And the nights they get lonely Sometimes I've cried But these feelings are only The price paid for looking inside I've been thinking about you and how we first met It was so long ago But I remember it yet All the late nights spent walking Beneath the oak trees The laughing and talking The scent of your hair on the breeze Time kept on rolling, and it rolled us apart. We were too young to say what lay deep in our hearts. So you must go your way, and I must go mine. 
But a bond lies between us, unfettered by space or by time. I'll be riding the road, I believe in at dawn, when the first light comes creeping, you'll find me gone. Cause my wheels keep on turning, but I'm glad that we met, from a beautiful girl grew a woman, I'll never forget. I'll be riding the road, Lord, I'll be leaving at dawn When the first light comes creeping You'll find me gone The young Raleigh, the young romantic Raleigh wrote that song. And, uh, you know, sometimes I like to sing these old songs I wrote a long time ago. I don't always inflict them on others. Hi, Ann Caston. Um, but uh, uh, you guys, it's anything can happen day today, so you get to have them inflicted upon you. So um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to play you one more instrumental today, and this was another of the tunes I played at Winfield. So competing at Winfield, you know, they judge you. You're not playing for the audience. You're playing for... A bunch of uh, a bunch of judges who are in a um, trailer. They can't see you. They don't know who you are. You are just a number to them. You're not allowed to say anything. You get up on stage. You play your two tunes. You shaking like a leaf, and then you get off, and you hope you make the second round, and then do that all over again. And uh, I was lucky to make that second round. And my good buddy Danny Gotham, who I had never met that day, I met him that day. He he made the second round too, and we've been tossing back and forth our memories, which are totally faulty. We have no idea. We're, we're guessing about what we actually, what we actually played. Hi, Carol Pratt. Thanks. That's nice to say that. Um, and uh, um, uh, anyhow, so uh, I wanted to play things which were fancy, like high society, and also something which showed creativity and originality. And so this was a piano rag, which actually was never played on the piano because I wrote it on the guitar, but it was a, in that piano rag style. And uh, I should make my little announcements. Janice McKenzie, my wife, is up there. I hope that right, right before, like three seconds before I had to go online, I heard this big crash from upstairs, and I'm still wondering what happened up there. But I knew there was no time to check. So um, announcements. Um, uh, Alex, tomorrow at 3.30, I believe, Alex Bevan. Um, uh, Cozy and Charlie, Tuesday at 10.30. Um, every day at 10 a.m., except Saturdays, I think, the Kokomo Kid does his coffee with Kokomo. That's Guy Davis, the great blues man. And um, uh, I'll be back on Tuesday at 3 p.m., if I remember correctly. Okay, so this is called uh, the Slumming Angel Rag. And um, the name Slumming Angel, I've, I've, I'm a big mystery fan, or I used to be anyhow. And uh, I think it was Raymond Chandler writing a review on Ross McDonald. And those two guys are, you know, they're like two of the three great American mystery writers of the 20th century. Uh, Dashiell Hammett probably being the other one. And um, uh, writing about Ross McDonald, uh, Raymond Chandler said he wrote about Los Angeles. <laughs> Wait, Jan says she tripped on her pocketbook strap and dumped her tea all over the kitchen floor. Well, at least it's tile. You missed the missed the carpeting, maybe. And I'm sure Suki has licked all that tea up now and will be caffeinated for the rest of the day. Anyhow, uh, Raymond Chandler wrote that Ross McDonald wrote about Los Angeles. Um, like a slumming angel. So that's where this tune got its name. The slumming angel rag.
the Slumming Angel Rag. Um, I want to thank you all for stopping in today. Hi, Teruchika, John Sprouse. Janice says, only her pride was bruised. Um, Annie Caston, I think I see everybody else here. If I missed anybody, Jim Moore, I know you're on there somewhere. Um, my love to you all. Stay strong. Think about Ruth Bader Ginsburg's legacy. Um, stay safe. Stay sane. If you get cranky, take a nap. Take care of yourselves. And uh, I love you all, and we'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye-bye.